Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be covering a new game and that is Grounded. The game has been up now for around a month now. I've only just bought it myself. I kind of want to start branching out and including other games on my channel. And this is the game I've decided to go for. It is the new survival game made by Obsidian. Now, as obviously I come from the camp building background from Fallout 76, as most of you will know, I decided let's take a look, first of all, at the base building aspect in this game. I'm going to compare it a little bit to Fallout, see if it's better, see if it's worse, and take a look at the unique aspects of it as well. Obviously, this is based in a world which is completely around kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, where you're a child in this very large world but you're the size of like an ant and you're going around fighting ants fighting bugs and stuff it's really fun and i'm really enjoying it so far so i'm quite excited to do more videos on it that being said if you do enjoy this video and you want to see me do more grounded videos like this one drop a comment down below and hit that like button so looking at the camp building so far obviously it, this is very early days in this game like i say this is still like the early um access type of thing of the game it's only been up a month, like I said, so there's very little being added in. There will be a lot more coming into the game later on, so I want to give my little suggestions and thoughts on stuff so far. First thing I noticed straight away when starting to build up a little camp was you can build at 45 degree angles. There's roofs to do this, like roof pieces to do this, so you can build like curved walls and stuff. There is walls that you can like, or all walls I believe, you can place at these 45 degree angles. So it's not just all blocky 90 degree angles like you'd see in Fallout. Obviously they brought out a new uh, atomic chop item, the fence and the communist fence, and which allows you to do that. But in this you can do it straight from the get go, which is really, really good. Also you can stack foundations in this, that is straight up dead easy, straight forward. It just stacks straight on top of the other one, very easy to do. There's no like glitching involved or anything. It's just a straight up simple thing that they've put into the game, which I think is brilliant. I think it's a really good thing they've added that in there. It helps a lot in this game because the uh, leaf, or not the leaf, but the grass made stairs, they've got to be placed on top of a foundation. So if you're making a staircase up, you've got to use the clear foundations and kind of build your way up there. And it's, it's pretty good. And everything seems to like fit so smoothly on top of each other. Everything just kind of places... It doesn't quite so much snap as like abruptly as say Fallout does, but it just snaps nicely. Now and again it does kind of glitch out a little bit and it keeps making that noise that you hear when it's like placing it down. And it's like, I don't know how to make the noise, but it keeps making that every now and again. But obviously like I say, early days there will be issues and they seem to be on top of these issues. Like, I've seen a few patches already in this game and it's only been up a month. So they are right on top of this. Hopefully it continues because it will be really exciting if it is. The second thing I noticed, which is obviously a bit odd, is there is no half walls. So obviously if you're wanting to place like, say if you want to make a balcony like I ended up making in this camp or this base, and I wanted to put like half walls there so the balcony had some form of thing stopping you from falling off the edge, there isn't any. You could use the little, uh, I can't remember what you call it, the little leaf uh like mini tent thing you can put that on the edges but it doesn't really look that appealing and i prefer the open look to it i would like to see these added in that would i think that would be like really cool if they did add them type of things into it it would be brilliant even if it was just like small fences that size kind of like what we've seen in fallout it'd be really cool to see that another thing i notice is when putting the roof on my camp there isn't any uh like flat roof pieces what you've got to do instead is use just the plain floors. Now these don't match completely with the roof pieces, but they don't really, like, there's not much difference, so it's all right, it kind of still works. It's not bad or anything like that, but it would kind of be nice to see flat roofs. It's not like it's gonna be impossible in a world like this to make flat roofs. Once you've got like the structure of a building place for like sticks and whatever else, you could very easily make a flat roof. So it's not like it's against like the law, so to speak, or unrealistic. Another thing I noticed when starting to decorate the camp, there is very little decorations in this game at the moment. Like I, I say, at the moment, it's very early. I'm not hating on it or anything like that, don't get me wrong. But it would be cool to see some extra little bits added in shortly. That would be very nice. At the moment, there's like two chairs. There is no beds, so I presume you don't need to sleep in this game. You don't get any added benefit from it. Um, I've only played very little from this, and then I went straight into the build aspect, into creative mode. 
And as far as I'm aware, I think you just need to eat and drink and that. Now, I was having a little bit of issue once I had the camp up and stuff. Obviously, as you can see, it got very dark in the game. And as far as I was aware, there was no lighting. Now, once I actually had a little play around with it in the crafting and stuff, I figured out that you can actually make torches, kind of like what you can in Minecraft. But what you've got to do, as far, wait, as far as I could see as well, I don't think you can actually place these down. I might be wrong. I'm going to double check that before I upload this video. Um, but what you can do is you can put these torches inside the weapon racks and that'll shine off the light from there. The only thing with this is, unless you can also play around with this, I'll also double check this, but as far as I'm aware at this moment in time, you place it in the weapon rack and it places at a kind of slanted uh, 45 degree angle facing towards the right. So all the light coming off the torch goes straight to the right of the weapon rack rather than lighting up the whole area around it. On the bright side though, these torches are extremely bright and they've got a nice orangey tone to them. So there's nothing to worry about really. You can just place another one alongside it or wherever you feel necessary to properly light up your camp. Base, I'm sorry. I keep calling it a camp and I know it's a base, I'm sorry. Another thing that I really liked is the little grid placement. So. In Fallout, I know I keep talking about it, but that's what I mainly do on this channel. In Fallout, you basically, when camp building, you can place things anywhere you like, pretty much. Like, when placing down decorations and stuff, there's no, like, uh, grid type of format type of thing. Whereas in this game, when you're rotating items, they've got a kind of click to them. Not all items, the foundations don't, but it seems like the decorations and stuff, like I noticed with the, um, the Kooken type of station thing, I'm not sure 100% on the name, but that had a little grid thing when you were rotating it, and that's really good. So did the um, chests as well. So it makes it like really easy to line things up with other things. So if you want to line it up perfectly with your wall, it's got that perfect grid placement. There's no like zooming in and looking really close at it to get the perfect line up. It just does it automatically just by like rotating it and getting that lock on with a grid. That was a really cool feature, and I really like that. Another thing I notice is currently at the moment there isn't a message that pops up on screen or anything like that when you're placing down stuff and it's not letting you place them down. So yes, it will show red, but it won't actually tell you why it's red. So say if something needs to be placed in dirt or something like that, it doesn't actually tell you this item has to be placed in dirt and that's why it's not being placed down. Don't know if that's maybe something they're going to add into the future hopefully it is because it'll make it a lot easier for like new builders like myself and everyone else that's now jumping on this game another little thing as well for people like me and everyone else out there that likes building these camps and say if you like making uh, the videos of these bases and you want to show them off to your friends or you want to make youtube videos on them this game currently does not have any form of photo mode so all you've got to do on this one is you can only walk around and record your screen when walking around. So there's no like kind of cool um, like camera shot things you can do. Maybe there's little tricks you can do. I don't know if there'll be mods in this game or anything like that. Um, I say this is, I don't play on PC. This is obviously I'm playing this on PC. This is one of the first games I've properly played on PC. Normally I'm all console, but I'm moving over PC. And I don't know, maybe there's some trick with PC. If there is, please let me know in the comments because I would love it because then I can build some really cool camps in this, or bases in this, and then make some cool video for you guys. Also, if there is anything you want to see me build, drop that in the comments down below. That would be pretty cool. Uh, this is obviously a very quick base. I built this and recorded all this and played around all in half an hour of footage. Um, so it's just a daft little thing I came up with. I am quite excited to see what I can build in this game and kind of see like the limitations of building in this game uh, further and stuff. This is my initial look at it. These are my initial thoughts of what could be added in, what's really good that I like, what could be changed. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you agree with these points or if you think there's a reason for them, if I am wrong on any of them, drop a comment down below as well. I would like to hear your thoughts. And if there's any tricks or anything that you found while building in Grounded, let me know as well. That is it pretty much though for this video. I just wanted to do my initial thoughts on the grounded base building. I thought a lot of you would be interested in seeing this. So here is my thoughts. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you want to see more grounded videos on the channel, let me know and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will catch us all next time. Bye bye.